A vaginal yeast infection, also known as vaginal candidiasis, genital candidiasis, or vulvovaginal candidiasis, VBC, is an infection involving a fungus or yeast. The fungus most commonly associated with vaginal yeast infection is called Canada albicans, which is accountable for up to 92% of all cases with the remainder due to other species of Canada. These fungi can be found all over the body and are normally present in warm and moist areas of the body. Studies have shown that up to 20 to 50% of all women normally carry yeast in the vagina without the presence of symptoms. When C. albicans in this vagina multiplies to the point of infection, this infection can cause vaginal inflammation, irritation, odor, discharge, and itching. Certain types of bacteria that live naturally in the vagina usually keep the C. albicans from growing out of control. If this balance of these microorganisms becomes upset, C. albicans may be allowed to grow uncontrollably and lead to symptoms. The use of medications, including antibiotics, changes in hormone levels, or certain diseases are examples of factors that can allow vaginal yeast infection to develop. Vaginal yeast infections are extremely common. 75% of all women develop a yeast infection at some point in their lives. A vaginal yeast infection is not considered a sexually transmitted disease, but an STD, but 12 to 15% of men develop symptoms such as itching and penile rash following sexual contact with an infected partner. Under normal circumstances, a vaginal yeast infection is not serious and can be treated with medications. However, a vaginal yeast infection can be a sign and underlying more serious condition or can lead to serious complications, especially if left untreated. Many women who think they have a vaginal yeast infection actually have other types of vaginal infections. When these women attempt to treat their condition with the over-the-counter medications intended to treat yeast infections, the symptoms do not improve. This may allow to the infection to worsen. A study performed by an American Social Health Association found that 70% of women use over-the-counter medications designed to treat yeast infections before calling their doctor. Studies have shown that when a woman self-diagnosed a vaginal yeast infection, in many cases, cases, the symptoms are related to other conditions such as bacterial vaginosis, which is a bacterial infection. Other causes of symptoms similar to those of a vaginal yeast infection include local irritation, for example, from intercourse or tampons, allergic reaction, or chemical irritation from soap, perfumes, deodorants, or powders. Reoccurring yeast infections may be a sign of serious disease such as diabetes, leukemia, or even AIDS. In the very rare cases, a yeast infection can lead to systemic candidal disease, which is fatal in 75% of people who develop this major complication. This occurs when the infection spreads throughout the body via the bloodstream. Women with weakened immune systems are most susceptible to this type of complication.